Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. Cyberpunk 2077 has a lot of features and I understand that while trying to focus on the game and playing through the main story, it can be a little challenging to understand all of the features with this game. So in this video, I wanted to focus on the cyberware. I will be talking about how you can equip, buy and mod the cyberware itself just so you can get a better understanding of how it all works. So before I get into this one, if you found it informative or helpful in any way, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you want to subscribe for more content like this, that'll be awesome as well. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. Starting off, let's take a look at the cyberware. So go into the menus and go to inventory and go down into cyberware. And here it is. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, for the frontal cortex, you can apply three different implants for the ocular system. You can only get one. Same for the operating system that you got three for circulatory system, two for immune, two for nervous and so on and so forth. Now, each one is obviously going to focus on certain things. For example, the frontal cortex focuses more on like intelligence abilities like hacking and all that. Same with the operating system. The operating system is actually only for hacking. So you get more base RAM, which is basically the currency that you use in order to do hack stuff, which regens over time. Then the skeleton focuses on your strength. So this one increases the carrying capacity and this one will increase your health by 30%. And then you got the arms, which of course have the mantis blades or gorilla arms, whichever one you decide to purchase. And for the legs, there's implants that make you jump higher or double jump, stuff like that. Now, the integumentary system, of course, is the skin. So here I have subdermal armor, which increases my armor by 200, which is fantastic. I love this one. Then we got nervous system, immune system, circulatory system. I just have one thing. It says increases the breach time of breach protocol by 100%. So if you've ever hacked anything in this game, you probably already noticed that at the very top is breach protocol and it does several things, including turning off cameras. So if that thing turns off cameras for two minutes, this will basically extend that time to four minutes, which is pretty cool. Anyway, before we move on, I also wanted to mention that notice how some of these have little dots at the top. So this one, this one, and this one, those little dots just means that you can actually apply a mod on that implant. So if I click on ocular system, you'll see that I have two mods equipped and nothing over here. You can actually switch it out for a different one, but I don't think you can remove it. I've tried to remove it and it's not possible. So you got to switch it out for something. So for example, here we are at the operating system. And if I click this one and click this one, they switch out. Super simple to understand. And these and these mods are called quick hacks. These can actually be found uh, just by looting or they can be crafted. So if you go to crafting and then you go to the tab over here, quick hacks, you can actually craft all of that. And you can also craft cyberware, by the way. So if you want cyberware, you can actually craft it. Talking about ways to get cyberware, you can also come to the Ripper dog. So I'm here with Victor, you guys know him. But if you wanna find different Ripper docks around the map, just look for that little scissor sign. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. They're all over the map. Some of them have different items. So if you have time, go explore several different ones and whichever one has the best things for you, make sure to buy it from them. Anyway, let's talk to Victor real quick here. Have a look. And as you see, same screen, but this time it's Victor's clinic. And now it says available items too. So I can click up here and he has two things for sale. And as you see, these ones are highlighted red. That's because I don't have enough money. So I don't have enough money for those. They can also be highlighted red for other reasons. Sometimes it says REQ. That means you don't meet the requirements. So sometimes there might be a requirement that says you need 10 intelligence levels or something like that. So that'll just mean that lets me back out real quick. That would just mean that you have to have your character stats increase. So let's say intelligence, you need to have it up to 10 or 11, whatever the requirement is in order to get that implant so the biggest example i can give is when you're first going to the ripper doctor and you're trying to buy the cyber arms it says that you don't have enough street credit it asks you to like 21 or 20 street credit and your street credit is up here and it's really easy to build up you just need to play the game 
do side missions, help the cops, whatever. Just play the game, you'll get street credit. And once you have enough street credit and money, you can go ahead and buy it. So we're going to back out and I'm going to show you something about street credit really quickly. We're going to go to our menus. We're going to go to stats down here. And here you can see it says street cred. And then you have your street cred rewards. Now level 20 and level 50 both give Ripper Dogs the ability to sell you new hardware or new cyberware. Which means that whenever you reach these two milestones, Ripper Dogs probably going to have something new for you. So keep that in mind. And now before I end this video, I need to show you how to switch out the cyberware. So let's say I don't want these mantis blades anymore and I actually have gorilla arms. I click on it and then I try to switch this one, but it says no items. I don't know why this happens, but in order to switch your cyberware, you do need to go to a ripper dock, even if you already bought it. So for example, I'm going to go to Victor right now. And I just want to get my gorilla arms back. I just have to click on it and it already says owned. You see up there, it says owned. And I just click on it and I get it. It doesn't charge you or anything. And that happens with everything. But anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to show you for today. If you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful, a like rating is appreciated. And if you want to sub for more, that'll be awesome as well. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.